Hi there guys, welcome back to the Ferrant channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Novo and also set yourself up a wallet as well. Okay guys, so the first thing that you're going to need to do to set yourself up to mine Novo is go ahead and go ahead and grab yourself a wallet. So you can pick any of the one on here which will be perfect for yourself but for this instance sake I'm going to go ahead and click on the Electron Novo version 0.1 and we'll go ahead and click on that. And once that's downloaded, all you're going to need to do is just go through the simple installation process, which is just a normal standard going through. So just press more information, run anyway, and then install this to your desired location. And you can rename this as well. If you do rename this, it'll make it easier for you to find if you end up do, you know, losing your wallet for any reason. Okay, so once you've successfully installed your Nova wallet, you should have something that looks a little bit something like this. So go ahead and press on your receive and write in your description anything that you'd like and then go ahead and press save now what you need to do is once you've created your wallet is go ahead and copy the address in the receiving address there now to mine what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download srb miner so if we go over to the srb github i will be leaving a link for you guys in the description so don't worry about that if you just press on the 202 windows 64 version and once you've done this if you take yourself over to your downloads location so for myself i'm just going to open this up take myself straight over to my desktop and then what i'm going to need to do is just drag and drop this onto my desktop now for myself i already do have this folder so i am going to go ahead and just close this off i'm going to go ahead and open up the folder and then if you actually look in your srb multi folder you can actually see uh, that there's already a novo bat file in there ready for you to go so all you need to do is just go ahead and change the pool address and make sure that you go ahead and update your wallet address so as i said copy the wallet address from your wallet go ahead and paste this in here and then you can go ahead and name this so let's put this as the 3090 and Let's go ahead and remove the CPU threads intensity. As I've mentioned before, this is a little bit more, uh, this makes more sense to mine this on a GPU than ever would uh, a CPU, just because you'd be able to get more mega hash and hash rate for your effort and for your electricity. But at the same time, um, it is worth showing both perspectives of it. So for this instance, we are gonna be mining on a 3090, so I'll name that as 3090. And let's go ahead and press on the save. And if we go ahead and close this now, and we go ahead and double click on the bat file, we should now be successfully mining on to Novo. So if we just give this a moment to load up and get to the point to accept a share. But as you can see there, it has set up. So in the meantime, what you wanna do is go ahead and grab your receiving address take yourself back over to the internet and then go to the Supernova website and then paste in there your wallet address and then press load. And then what you're gonna need to do is just wait for it to start to show some of the pending shares and start showing some details uh, in that meantime. It, should, it could take up to about 10 to 15 minutes for that type of information, you know, does start to show on their website. Okay, so we've just started to receive our first accepted share. We can also see that the hash rate on the 3090 is around about 3,381 mega hash. And you can also see as well the temperature as well is pretty high because uh, it doesn't have any settings at the moment preset in there. I haven't overclocked it or underclocked it. Um, but please let me know down in the comment section, guys, if you have any uh, settings for the 3090 so I can go ahead and give those a test and give those a shot. Uh, but I will go ahead and start to week in and I probably will be, uh, you know, lowering the power down to probably about 90% um, and then, you know, potentially working up a bit of the core and then just ever so slightly on the memories. Also, forgot to mention that this was recommended by Deepak, one of the uh, subscribers of the channel. So thank you very much for showing us this. And if you guys yourself have any projects that you think are interesting or that you know are currently profitable at the moment, definitely make sure to either jump in the Discord or drop a comment down in the comment section below. And I'll go ahead and check those out. Right, guys, this is the end of the video, but please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.